Hey everybody. Um, I just came up with this little video today. Um, was walking through my local tractor supply and found some clearance deals on their uh, house brand tools and uh, some clearance deals on their um, Christmas sales that they had, like marked down on the leftover stuff. So, um, basically, I did a little video. I'm going to do a little video on the stuff that I got for uh, right at about $100. So, what does $100 get you at Tractor Supply Clearance Special? Well, let's take a look. Um, first thing, 50 pack of button cell batteries. I needed this for something a uh, guitar tuner that I have I just seen them I figured for three dollars I'd get them whatever um, this was interesting looks like tool for you socket set created for standard rounded damage whatever rusted damage bolts metric set eight piece six eight ten twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen nineteen not a bad little set. Um, chrome vanadium with heat treatment. Uh, U.S. patent pending. Made in Taiwan. So Chinese, but um, I figured for the clearance price of three seventy nine with a little, you know, molded case thing for them to sit in, labeled and all. I figured they were worth taking a chance on. Um, Olympia 32 piece ratcheting tool set, micro ratchet with bits and such. Um, I have a nice set at work um, made by Cornwell and I'm happy with that. So I figured for $8 it was worth trying this one. 30 piece impact bit set. Um, it's like the ones that go into your standard quarter inch hex receiver or the ones that quick connect into the drill a couple of those a couple of phillips couple looks like torques various size torques and flatheads square drive and yeah not bad performance tool liquid transfer shaker siphon 6.99 for this i think um, I figured it was something handy. Use it transferring gas out of a gas tank or out of a mower or something. This was uh, another pretty interesting thing. This is what Job Smart 3.8's metric. They make a standard version, uh, reversible ratchet um, handle head ratchet, slim profile, slim profile. Comes with a rack of sockets, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 19. Not a bad set. Uh, 72 teeth ratcheting gear, 5 degree working swing. Kern Vandium includes the ratchet. If we focus this, includes the ratchet, the sockets, and all, and a little metal rack for the sockets. Was sixteen, got it for eight. Job Smart five hundred lumen work lamp was ten, got it for six. Looked like a decent little deal, nothing crazy, but figured it was worth the six dollars to try. It. Three piece magnetic tool holder set. Eight, twelve, eighteen inch bars with some mounting screws, put them on wood or whatever. Um, powder coated carbon steel for nine dollars. Uh, I go to Lowe's and buy something like this, they're 20, 20 something a piece for like a 12 inch. I bought a cobalt one, it was 20 bucks or something crazy. All right, another job smart tool pass through socket set, metric and standard with the ratchet head, little molded case thing. Um, these are interesting because uh, they're dual 
14, 9 16, 13 half, 12, 5, 30 seconds. I mean, I'm not sure if it's like flipped over on the one side or the other or what, but I'll have to look at those, see how that works out, but pretty cool. And then, I think this is the last item on sale, gear wrench, 56 piece ratcheting screwdriver set. There's $60 on Amazon right now as I bought this and I got it for 26 bucks. So just a little over half off, like 60% off Amazon price, which is pretty good because normally Amazon price is the cheapest for gear wrench. Nice little set. Didn't really need it, but for the price, let's screw it. All right, so get back to you with the uh, couple individual things I think we should worth looking at. Uh, I don't think we need to explain how this works or anything. You just shake the tube and it pumps it through the hose. It's pretty easy. We don't need to explain battery button batteries. So I think we'll go over the ratchet and screwdriver set. This, this, I think. Possibly these, these, and this stuff. Alright, so you get you a new razor blade. I'm up on the top shelf. One second. You rip that off. And you start down here with the 30 piece bit set. So. You can grab a hold of the plastic, rip it off, Get your hand out the case. Nice little case. Somehow it opens. And you got your bits. And by looking at it, Take a look. If it would focus on something. They don't look too bad. Longevity? Not sure. Comes with Phillips 1, 2, 3, 2 of each, I think. A couple of Phillips 3 shorts, Phillips 2, Torx, looks like T20, T25, T30s. Two size flat heads and two size square bits. But other than that, not too bad. So, get out of that. That's basic stuff. This thing, if I can open the damn thing. Oh, Ford my. Where'd my cutter go? Oh, here it is. Do a little slit on the side. Put you down for a minute. Open this up. Little clip thing on the side. And you got your ratchet with your bits. Up then a little tight to get out but not too bad it's a pretty slim ratchet head teeth not the tightest I've ever felt but should get the job done you got your ratchet bit holder the teeth feel kind of tight on this not very uh, easy if you get in like a bind it's kind of hard to, to spin it maybe it'll break in um feeling the hands pretty good easy flip spin it my bad they got these color coordinated bits i guess so you know what size they are i'm not sure about that but really i mean 
I think for the amount you're going to use this, it's not going to be too bad. I mean, if you're a mechanic, I would buy a better one. But I think we're using it once, once in a while here and there. I think it's good. Put that back in. It's going there nicely. Closes up. Nice little deal. For the month, for eight dollars, I think that's a good substitute for the thirty, forty, fifty dollars you'll pay for the professional brand. Um, I don't know. Let's try a light. So immediately, gloss finish looks like a plastic kind of handle plastic body switch on the top pretty basic um looks like you can hold it with your hand like this or flip this around kind of hold it like this walk around with it like a flashlight um set it up like a stand set it up like this Turn it on, or don't turn it on, pull the tab out of the batteries, then turn it on. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, not bad. I'm, I'm quite impressed actually. This is pretty bright. Um, I have a Cornwell light. And this is supposed to be pretty bright, but I'm thinking that that's a good second option. I'm saying they're pretty close. I think for the $100 you pay for this, and the $6 you could pay for 100 of those, I think this isn't a bad option. And the fact that you got a stand... You could easily rig up a hook on this or something hanging from somewhere. I mean, three AA batteries says up to two hours of runtime continuous. I mean, is that worth putting batteries in it? I mean, if you're only going to use it once in a while, maybe get some rechargeable batteries. You know, I'm not sure. Pretty cool though. For $6, I thought it was well worth the money. Um, what else do we got? We got the tool for you, or tool you, or however you say it. Socket set. Look is quality. The little case it comes in is not so quality. Uh, three each drive. It's got these little grooves on the, the inner part of the socket. You could probably see the ref kind of a reflection of them. It's kind of hard to see. One here. Let me zoom in. There we go. So I guess that's to help grip the rounded bolt. Got a little concave to the socket head. Um, I'd have to give these a try on something. Here's the four quarter, four quarter inch drive. Same thing, little spline thing on the inside. Um, I'd have to try these out on something to give them a better kind of review. But looks of them looks like they might do something. Um, there we go. Thing's got a little package on it. Mm. Alright, so this one's kind of hard to get into. Wow.
Okay, so that was frustration packaging. Um, they basically put like this socket set in a separate layer of the plastic than the ratchet. So like the ratchet came out first. You can see there's two layers. That was stupid. Um, in terms of thinness of the socket, it's supposed to be a thin socket ratchet. This doesn't, it's pretty thin. Flipper on the top, quick button release. Teeth feel decent, not super light amount of teeth, but with a socket on it feels decent. Feels slim in the hand for sure. Let's get a regular ratchet and a 12 millimeter socket to compare to the thickness. Okay, here's your standard Lowe's Cobalt 3 8 drive ratchet with a Craftsman 12 mil, 6 point. And here's the Job Smart 12 mil with the slim ratchet. Let's look at the thickness difference. You do them from top to top, clearly, thickness difference. If you do them from socket, if you don't sock at the head, you know, same thing. Just, you can see you cut down all that length. You basically have a ratchet and a socket that's almost the same size as a sh standard shallow socket. Plus about, I'd say a quarter of an inch or so, maybe, added on. So really, $10, or well, I'm sorry, eight dollars for this little metric set with this ratchet and a pinch you could use that that's a handy tool and they make a standard one for the same price not a bad tool pass through spline socket Okay, here's the ratchet. You got some kind of a quick release or something on the side. You push this in for the for the release. It's got like this snap ring thing here. You might be able to see that that little black piece on the right side of the head of the ratchet. That kind of releases, and then you got your flipper, standard flipper. Hear the click. There's the sockets. So there. So back with the socket. You got nine millimeter and eight millimeter nine sixteenths on one side. The other one side is slimmer than the other, but I'm not sure. Looks like it only goes into the ratchet. Well. Went in that way. Okay, so you can put them in in the ratchet either way. One end's going to stick out farther than the other. Um, pass through design, straight through. Spins. Flip it. Tighten reverse. I don't know why that is. Very tight in reverse. Can't even move it. Have to look into that. Um, I think the price of this explains well enough the quality of it. I think it's it'll get the job done, but I think for a pass-through socket set, I think it's kind of poorly made. Something like this, it's hard to go hard to go too wrong with a standard kind of ratchet head, but this with this quick release and this, and it feels like it's already jammed up. Not sure.
might want to spend a little bit more money. It gets like a half rotation around and it stops in reverse. So, I don't know. I have to do a little more view on that, but not impressed so far. And then last but not least, the, the gear wrench. Such a bobber. Ratcheting screwdriver set. Of course, gear wrench has their packaging together. Get rid of that tip tie. Open this up. There you go. Ratchet head. Comfortable grip. Flip that around. Comes with a multitude of extensions. Short ones, long ones. Metric and standard shorts with the bits. Standard bits for screwdriver. Standard screwdriver head or T head, T uh, T handle. Flexible extension. Quarter inch drive. Use it on whatever, I guess. And long quarter inch drive on both ends. Straight. Same thing here. A little bit shorter. It's like a six inch. That's like a eight inch or so. That's like a that's like a four inch maybe five inch. Yep. One with a 516 nut driver, it looks like. Maybe. Built in. So, nice set. I mean, can't get wrong gear wrench, like on warranty. Of course, it's good. $26 for normally $61 on Amazon. Can't get wrong with that. Um, Alright, guys. That's my short little video. Hopefully... Hopefully you guys liked it to try to pick out some cooler things out of the clearance rack and stuff. Um, 88 bucks spent. It's what you can get for Harbor Freight brand or lower end tool brands such as Olympia or whatever. With the gear wrench kicker thrown in. So hopefully you guys like it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to go over any of these tools more in depth, try to break them. I don't know. Whatever. You let me know. Thanks. See you.